Hey, I'm Jake Parker. I'm an illustrator and cartoonist who's been working professionally for the last couple decades. Several years ago, I wanted to get better inking, so I started a month-long drawing challenge to help me improve my inking skills. I called it Inktober. Since then, it's exploded. It's become a worldwide event with tens of thousands of people participating every year. One of my favorite things about Inktober is what people tell me afterwards. They say to me that, that it helped them form positive drawing habits, like they'll, they'll draw every day now. Other people tell me that it just boosted their creativity and they're thinking more creatively now. And then the, some of the best things I hear is from, from actual professionals who draw for a living. They'll say Inktober reminded them what it was like to draw for themselves and how much fun drawing can be. Participating in Inktober is simple, but it's hard. All you gotta do is for the 31 days of October is draw a single different drawing each day of the month, then post it online with the hashtag Inktober. Sometimes the hardest part of Inktober isn't doing the drawing, it's actually coming up with an idea of what to draw. So to help with that, every year I put out the official Inktober prompt list. It's just a list of words that are assigned to each day of the month, and you can use those words as inspiration of what you can draw that day. If you're wondering what pens to use, what art supplies to get for Inktober, go to inktober.com where I have a list of my favorite pens that I use for Inktober. There's also the Art Snacks box, which is great, but really, whatever tools you have at your disposal is perfect for Inktober. Maybe you're a little rusty at inking, I've got a how to ink class from svslearn.com where I go over my process, my techniques, I show my whole approach on how I draw and how I ink. So you can check that out too. All right, that's it, that's Inktober. I am so excited for you to take this challenge. Good luck.